It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buccaneers and the Lions. All that and more coming up next. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today, we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Play fake. Mayfield. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Second and ten. First carry for Rashad White. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now Mayfield. Flush to his right. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's taken to the 26. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. To Montgomery to begin the drive, and he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Coming in to put a lick on him was Levante David. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. 
Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now it's gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 48-yard line, here's second and five. To throw is golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Third and two. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Now a second and 10. Gone. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. From the gun, here's Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 33. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Back to Montgomery on second down. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he's caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get. And he's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. David Montgomery, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Lions are on the board first here this afternoon. In 
an ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> they begin the drive on the ground. It's white. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. To throw Mayfield. There's a short one taken in by Otten. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Mayfield now. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Third and four is always a tough call. Maybe a little too long to run for it, but not too long to hit him on the quick slant. And that was well executed. Found the window and zipped it right in there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Mayfield. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. They'll go up the middle with White. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Watching that play unfold, watching him complete it, brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback laying on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Crucial foul, roughing the tackle, defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 24 now, here's a second down and nine. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Throwing on third, Goff. To the sideline and incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Back deep for the Bucks is Devin Tompkins. Fielded just inside the 30. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. They start to drive with White. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. It's a ball to the ground, incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Mayfield to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. The third down conversion is successful. Give them 12 yards that time. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a give up the middle, this is White. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six.
They stay on the ground with White. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Seven seven, our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football as they go to work on a first and goal. White diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. This fielded right at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. On second and ten, Goff. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The Lions on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Here's Goff. And that is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And they will take over first and 10. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And their last two drives both ending in touchdowns. It's got them this 14 to seven lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. A yeah, big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Mayfield on first down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. 
When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and four. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? the one yard line on the other side of the field yes exactly right so yes your definition is apropos in this case from the end zone golf and that's to the left sideline and incomplete After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Oh, what a move. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return, and the Buccaneer offense will be set up well as they take over. Offense heading back out, and with them comes Rashad White. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. That's out wide for Palmer. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Mayfield looks to throw. And a catch right side by Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Mike Evans, 42 yards. And the Buccaneers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. McLaughlin for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Detroit getting set to go now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and nine. A shotgun snap for Gong. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first and 10, Goff. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. And that makes it hard to defend. Now gone. He's got right on the short throw. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Still second down. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Play action. It's gone. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Lions on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be a tough third and 18. Goff now looking to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for them so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he led his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And we'll see what he can do on the return. 
So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Mike Evans in the Tampa offense about to set up shop. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. That stop made by Jack Campbell. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Mayfield. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Mayfield. He had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Jake Camarda now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Another shot now for this Lions offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Just a gain of a couple there, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Goff now to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw is golf. There's Laporta. He's got it, the tight end. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QB loved to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Now a first down throw, gone. Looking left sideline, incomplete. And I could see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again is Goff. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Goff. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 31-yard line. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, down at the 31. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's Goff now on second down. A short throw and it's going to be pulled in by Ferkser. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So just three yards on the completion there. And it brings up third and five now. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, He's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Second and seven. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. They've got the lead. They've looked good this first half. I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess the opponent, and they try to consider what they would do to take things away <laughs> and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half to see which way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. This is White on the screen. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. On first and 10, Mayfield. This is caught by Evans. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Mike Evans. 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this taken in at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Lions offense set to take over. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. So first and 10 now from the 30. Following the interception, Mayfield. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's second and four from the 24. Mayfield to throw it. He finds his target, it's Evans. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. And again, it's Mainfield. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Mayfield now. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. 
from the right hash here should be an easy one and his kick is indeed good and that will extend their lead even further so after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. once and that'll do it for the first half of play so we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one as we send you down to orlando where jonathan coachman has our ea sports halftime report coach okay brandon back to you guys in just a moment but welcome everyone to our creative village studios in the ea sports halftime report it was a solid first half for the running back rashad white he wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here's Raymond bringing it out. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Khalif Raymond, one man to beat, and he will score. Touchdown, Lions. Well, we thought they needed a big drive to get them right back in this game to start the third quarter. They did one better than that. They just returned the opening kickoff. And what you gain with that is obviously the points on the board. You gain momentum, and now your team's all fired up. And you save time. You didn't have to use a drive to get it downfield. One big play, that leaves you plenty of time left to continue to map the comeback. The golf in that Lions offense staying on the field. They'll try for two. They'll try and throw for it. He's got it at the two. And he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. But it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half.
Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at the 20. They'll start here with a handoff to right. And he'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the gun, Mayfield. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They go play action. Mayfield. That's completed right side to Palmer. So nothing doing there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. So out now come the Lions. Goff on first down. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 38 now, here's second and a yard. Goff now looking to throw. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Goff now to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw is gone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, golf. He's got a man here, it's Montgomery. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A very solid gain of 12. 
27. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Montgomery, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. To throw on second down is gone. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Now they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Gone. And he wisely will throw that one away. The Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Badgley's kick is good, and that will cut the lead down to 13. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Kick this one away, and off it goes. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. The drive starts with a run by White. And a short pickup to about the 25. We call a lot of games, but we don't normally talk about inside linebackers being that fleet of foot, do we? No, he was able to get outside there to make that play. Yeah, and you know what makes them faster? Their ability to read plays, understand what offenses are trying to do, and put themselves in proper position. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Throwing, Mayfield. Oh, a first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And the return will stop right around the 25. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and 10 here. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Now second and nine. Go, 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 
Here's gone. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third and four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Golf. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there and now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There's pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. A 36 yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away and he'll elect not to return this one so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback and Tampa Bay trots out there now and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position Charles after throwing their first interception of the ball game yeah some guys you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Mayfield finding Otten once more and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first and now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter they almost become defensive with their offense just playing not to lose I think with this team you got to figure at this point this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. First down, here's White, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Jack Campbell running him down behind the line. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. If they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They keep it on the ground, White again down inside the 35 he goes to the 32 yard line 54 yards rushing for him now to this point well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work play fake Mayfield tight there on third down they actually closed off all the passing lanes forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down so they'll pass on what would have been a 49 yard field goal attempt and they're going for it on fourth down working out of the gun Mayfield over the middle complete it's Evans and he's going to have the Bucks first down as they'll wind up getting the yards they needed on fourth and three. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. 
after that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. First down, Mayfield. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Brings up second and three at the 21 yard line. Mayfield on play action. Across the formation, he finds Godwin. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. White. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. That right, gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to tough it up and keep them out of the end zone. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And he pulls it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Trey Palmer there to make the grab. And the Bucs are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the gun, here's Goff. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Goff. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And he 
gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? Uh, 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Goff now looks to throw. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and eight. Gibbs straight ahead, dancing away at the 35. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now gone. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 16. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or boy something that feels a little bit cheap but if they trim that lead down to just two scores that's still a benefit to this squad levante david in on the tackle Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. They work now on second and nine. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing on third, golf. This to Laporta, right side. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that will close the gap down to 14. 
Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 22. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, and he sure did. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Mayfield. And that is incomplete critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Taken from just outside the 30. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Lions will take over. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 47, it's second and five. Here's Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, gone. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and 10. Now it's Goff. And he finds Montgomery complete. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far, and here they get it to him again on the screen, and it turns into a nice positive play. Third down and one. Throwing again is Goff. And this pass broken up. 
Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Normally you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Slant pass, he's got Reynolds. And he is going to have the Lions first down, and he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now Goff on first down. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now a second and 10. Off play action, here's Goff. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front and it's incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Again, golf. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They start to drive with White. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 65 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop. Pressure comes, and down goes Baker Mayfield. Alex Anzalone, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll go up the middle with White. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this.
Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So here's Goff and the Lions down by two touchdowns. A minute 52 to play. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns and they need them in short order. On first down, it's gone. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. Shaquille Barrett in there to take him down and the clock will roll. Well, obviously the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit too. Denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. Meanwhile, Goff's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, yeah, exactly right. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go with White on the counter. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again, just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. Down to one knee goes Mayfield, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So it's a win for the Bucks here, and it was thanks in large part to the play of their quarterback, C.D., Baker Mayfield. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level. That'll do it.
it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.